very short career too. You know, we're talking from 1967 to 1972, then it was all over. Yeah, well, you know, we'd been together nine and a half years before we got successful, trying you know, to learn our craft, uh, writing, recording, uh, playing shows, seeing what worked, seeing obviously what didn't. And it finally came together in uh, 1968 for us. Uh, so, but the, but the, the rocket ride was fast and uh, bright and, and it was over three and a half years later. Is there ever going to be a time when you, John, and Doug will get together and tour as Credence again? Uh, impossible to tell. I, you know, from if you, if you look at the past and uh, if that, that's any guide, I'd have to say no. You know, we haven't really had any a relationship other than uh, you know a bad one. That's not, really a, that's not really a relationship, is it? Still, it's a bad relationship <laughs> well, it's, it's just, the, I'd say there's prop, the better description would be a, just a lack of one. Uh, when, when we should, I think there's a lot of things right now that we should be working together on for our own mutual uh, and separate, but there's still a mutuality there uh, because of uh, the bond that Credence is and the music, you know, that it, it has its own life. Uh, and we're not even doing that. You know, Doug and I have been doing our own music project, Credence Clearwater Revisited, for this is our 15th year now, I think, 14th or 15th year. And uh, extremely successful project beyond our wildest dreams. It's just a music performance project. We just go play concerts for Credence fans. And uh, when the music dies out and the lights go down, that's it. Uh, it's, just, it's truly a performance project. We have a, a double live album out. It's platinum, by the way, but that's no surprise. Look at the great collection of songs. Uh, it's even uh, it's even released in Australia. It's on Undercover uh, uh, Records. Oh, there you go. Yeah, uh, it's it's a, a, a worldwide release. Uh, uh, different companies throughout the world, but it's distributed by Universal in the United States. Uh, so you know the. The, pro the, the band is, is still bigger than any one of us. Uh, and so for the future, there's no telling what, what might happen, but, you know. Yeah, but I guess you look as at... As long as we remain vertical, <laughs> make it happen. Well, you know, I mean, you know, we, we don't have Tom anymore, of course. Sadly, no, we don't. Yeah. Uh, that was a great loss uh, for all of us. He was a wonderful guy, great musician, uh, terrific father, and a, and a great friend. And, uh, you know, we, we look at bands like the Eagles, who have well, put their differences yeah. aside, the Police, who have put their differences aside. Yeah, uh, and, uh, and other bands uh, have stayed together, you know, because they saw, you know, they had their eye on the ball, let's just say, you know, they saw the, the value of the relationship beyond, that was, was more than any petty or, you know, seemingly uh, insurmountable differences. Doug and I have been friends for over 50 years and that doesn't mean every day has been a party or you know without differences but the friendship is more important than uh, you know you work your way through these things when you have disagreements respect each other and you know good things can come. Yeah. Well it's about time we got you down to Australia and uh, touring with hey. Doug. Uh, we're ready you know every year we take a look at it uh, unfortunately we were we we had some ideas about this year, but I think you know we're going to have to wait until uh, until uh, the global economy uh, sorts itself out a little more because there's just you know, a lot of pressures that that weren't there before. I think m could distract from a from a, a great visit. So, but we're definitely we've been to uh, uh, New Zealand. We we were there during the America's Cup. Uh, played uh, several great concerts. Saw the country. Very nice. Uh, but, you know. Yeah. Well, meantime, folks, we don't get to see him uh, on our stages, but you get to see him on DVD <laughs> <laughs> for, the, uh, for the very first time. Uh, Credence added to Woodstock for the 40th edition. And Stu Cook, it's been a pleasure to catch up with you here at Yeah, Day. well, you know, this is, a, this is a, a special, this is the ultimate collector's edition. You know, if people aren't aware that this is not just a regular DVD release, it's a Blu-ray, it's HD, and, and it comes with uh, a fancy package. 18 new tracks, 
by 13 artists, five that uh, have never been in the film before, including Creedence, Dead, Mountain, and others. Uh, and there's also a, uh, a budget-minded release as well, if you don't want the full, uh, you know, the, the ultimate collector's edition, as it were. So we're, we're hoping, you know, this is a worldwide uh, event, and uh, you know, the legend of the, the myth of the story of Woodstock is, is spread around the world and has had an impact everywhere. You know, you guys might not have been playing Marvin Gaye back then, but everybody knows about Woodstock in Australia, right? Yeah, that's for sure. Everyone knows about Woodstock everywhere in the world. The funniest thing happened on the way home last night. Uh, we were at, we were at dinner with uh, with with friends and uh, and folks in the in the music business, and uh, my wife said to me, "I didn't know Woodstock wasn't in California." <laughs> So, it's everywhere. Wow. <laughs> that was the other Woodstock. <laughs> All right. Paul? Stuart Cook, thank you very uh, much. Pleasure. Great.